Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show for week number four. As the Mustangs return home before the bye week, taking on the pride of Wider University, I'm James Wagner, assistant AD for Athletic Communication, joined always by Ed Hoddle, head football coach, talking about last week's win over FDU Florham up in the Garden State 24-21. Coach, congratulations, and your thoughts on the win. Thanks. You know, anytime you can go on the road and get a win in our, in our league, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Um, you know, I think as you look back at the history of the two schools, the matchups, um, you know, I, we've never lost. Mm -hmm. And I think that we carried a little bit of that arrogance with us on Saturday. And we've we've kind of got to get over ourselves a little bit when it comes to those kinds of things. That that football program's definitely on the rise. Mm -hmm. They've gotten better. And, you know, we've, we've got to you know do everything we can to respect our opponents and, and bring our best game every Saturday. And it seemed like offensively you were out with Marquez wasn't playing and you've had some, you know, key players on both sides of the ball missing. But you had some people step up. Can you talk about that? Sure. I mean, the obvious is Louis Clouser. You know, career day, um, you know, exciting to watch. You know, he, he's kind of been our third guy. He, there was a point during the, the preseason where he was, you know, kind of edging toward to be in that second guy, but then had a little bit of a setback, you know, injury-wise. And um, just great to see him kind of, you know, take on that responsibility of being, you know, that guy on Saturday. And, you know, you certainly can't look at a running back's performance without at least talking about those five guys up front. Those guys did a phenomenal job all day, um, keeping Nair clean, opening up holes for, for Louie. And, um, they, you know, they had an exceptional afternoon. So we're, we're certainly excited about the direction the offensive line is going as well. And especially defensively in the second half, obviously you have the inter interception, get the ball back, run out the clock. Just talk about the, the play, your defensive unit in the second half. Yeah, you know, those guys, you know, it's it's a work in progress. You know, the, the, the change of scheme has been – um, you know, it's been fun to watch. It's put us in positions to make some plays. I think there we're still leaving some plays on the table. Um, but, you know, having that opportunity to end that game that way, you know, hopefully will help us build some confidence for the weeks to come. And now coming into the game against Widener, obviously, one, we're back at home and – you know, it's uh, it's a big game against Widener, who's traditionally a very good program. Talk about what can we expect out of the Pride. You know, it's it's funny. You, you start doing your research. You know, the, the Sunday before and kind of combing through everything. And I found a, I, I think it was an Eddie White Shoes Johnson. Yes. You know, into the Hall of Fame there video into the foot, into the football Hall of Fame video. And, you know, it starts off with 20 conference championships. You know, and I think that speaks volumes of their program and their history. Um, you know, it's so. Always a great matchup with those guys, you know, whether it's here, whether it's there. It seems like every time they come here, it rains. It seems like every time we go there, it's sunny and beautiful. Um, but, it, you know, it's 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 become one of my favorite matchups throughout the season. Uh, Coach Brannick's done a great job with that program. Um, you know, they play hard. Their brand of football is physical. Um, you know, we strive to play a physical brand of football. And it's, you know, we're not an old school Mac team, but mm -hmm. I'd like to think from, you know, that we would have fit right in in, yes. the, in the 80s and 90s of, you know, those those that, that style of football. So um, I, I look forward to the matchup every year. Excited about Saturday for sure. So talk about the team. After this game, you basically hit the midway point. You have the bye week before you begin the last, you know, the max schedule all the way through. You know, what's your assessment of the team now at coming into basically what is the halfway point? I, I think we've yet to play our best football. I think we've still, you know, I think the sky's the limit as far as, you know, what we can do. Um, you know, I, I think we have failed to play truly complimentary football where all three fi all three phases are firing simultaneously at a very, very high level. Um, you know, you look back at, at your preparation, and of course it's a little bit disappointing not to be there yet. Mm -hmm. Um but it also is exciting because you can clean some things up on the bye week. You can get some guys healthy on the bye week. You can re-examine some of the things. And it isn't necessarily just personnel stuff. Some of it may be scheme stuff that mm -hmm. we as coaches need to evaluate. So you get the time to, to kind of comb through the first half-ish of the season and, and really strive to, to be fired on all cylinders in the second half of the year. Well, Coach, good luck in today's matchup. Thank you. Again, that's the Ed Hoddle with the Ed Hoddle Show is the – Mustangs take on the pride of Widener. It's blackout day, so obviously I'm in black, so wear your black as you come out to Mustang Stadium for the 1 o'clock kickoff. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks as we've got the bye weeks before we head to Alvernia. Thanks for watching, and go Stanks.